All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys a brief introduction to the KuSwap exchange that runs on the KuCoin network, the KuCoin smart chain. This is very similar to the Binance smart chain and PancakeSwap. You can interact with it with MetaMask. All you have to do is put in a custom RPC network. And that could be done by going to the networks and adding in custom RPC right here. Just like you would for the Binance Smart Chain or the Matic Network. You need to enter these different characters here. And you can find that from this article here on KuSwap connecting MetaMask to KuCoin. Very simple, not complicated in the slightest. If you've gotten onto the Binance Smart Chain, you should easily be able to get onto the KuCoin Smart Chain. And what's great about the KuCoin Smart Chain is actually the fees are much, much lower than the Binance Smart Chain. Pretty much for every transaction, you're looking at two-tenths of a penny. So basically, you're going to have to do about five or six transactions to cost you one penny. Okay, so you can imagine how much you're going to save even on the Binance Smart Chain gas fees on the KuCoin network. So that's one positive. The other positive is it's brand new and it's just starting out on the KuCoin smart chain. As you can see, this is the main DEX for the decentralized exchange for the KuCoin smart chain is KuSwap. And you can see how it just started out here at the end of June and the volume and liquidity has grown over time and it's on a steady pace. You'll usually get a pump and then you'll have a little bit selling off period and then you'll get another run up. So I noticed this liquidity has been steadily rising, even though it's been some volatility here. And I've been watching the KuSwap price and the KuSwap token price seems to have leveled out and seem to have found a floor. And it looks like it's pretty stable right now. So what I decided to do, if you guys watched my last video on Octree Decision Day, I had some liquidity that I was mining from Octree that I had used for quite a long time, pretty much going on five, six months, and just been collecting and collecting mining rewards from that. And so I decided that it was time to switch it up. And you can watch that video if you wanted to go into the reasons why I decided to do that. And what I decided to do was split my liquidity half and half. And half of that will go to the coup swap liquidity mining and half of it I bought Cardano with that. So it was about $1,000 for each investment there. I added in a little bit extra for my own funds that I had laying around to just make it 1000 each. But that's what I decided to do. And with this on their farms, I'm actually earning more than I was on the other farms that I was in on Octree and with less invested. Now, of course, yield farming is risky because... Of volatility you know the price of your liquidity tokens can go up and down and you know you really have to be careful what you get into as far as liquidity farming goes that's why I stuck with Octree for so long is because it was very stable and it, I really didn't have to worry about big price swings and that's what I like so with this I've decided to take the strategy of for the next 100 days I'm going to compound this and see how high I can get this all right, so what I decided to do is, like I said, I put a thousand in here, so it's grown to about a thousand fifty five because both prices kind of went up on these tokens. And so, right now, the APR is very attractive. You're looking at about one percent, about 0.95 percent a day. So, to me, that's very attractive APR to consider. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to harvest this every day. So, every day, I make about nine to ten dollars, depending. And what I'll be doing with that is I will be compounding it. Now, originally, I was going to take that coup swap and put it over here into the auto compound pool. But looking at this and seeing, you know, the APY has gone down. When I first looked at it, it was about 400%. So that means a lot of people got into this pool. And so it actually benefits me to just go back into the farms with my rewards. So I got coup swap that I earned. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to the exchange. I'm going to trade half of the coup swap for KuCoin. And then I'm going to pair that in the liquidity pool. And like I said, the great thing about KuCoin smart chain 
is I can do all these transactions on micro amounts, you know, $10, $5, and really not have to worry about that cutting into my profits at all. This transactions I'm going to make here, I just made one to claim my rewards. I'm going to make another one here to swap the tokens, and then I'm going to make another one to pair the liquidity, and then I'm going to make another one to stake li the liquidity. So that's four transactions I'm going to have to pay fees for, and really it's only going to cost me about a penny, if that. So if I did that on the Binance Smart Chain, that would probably add up to close to a dollar. If I did that on Ethereum, that would probably cost me about $100. All right, so I'm going to take 1.123. I'm going to sell that for KuCoin. All right, so I will be able to stake that in the liquidity pool. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because the APY is almost double. Instead of just staking my KuSwap tokens, I can pair it with KuCoin and earn double the APY. Okay, so my strategy could change if those percentages change. Okay, so now you click on liquidity. You're going to add liquidity. We're going to add the KuSwap token. Okay, you can do this either way. The order doesn't matter. Okay, the order doesn't matter which order you do it in. And so we're going to put KuCoin shares there. We'll do max of this one because we want all the max of there. So you can see it's about the same amount that I just purchased for the KuSwap token. We'll confirm that. Look at the gas fee when I show you this, guys. Okay, so the gas fee right here is 0 0.00023 KuCoin shares. All right, guys, so you can see how small that is. Like I said, it's two tenths of a penny. So with these four transactions, it's really going to be about one penny that I'll be spending. So very, very affordable. And that's what I like. You know, even the Binance Smart Chain and Pancake Swap, the fees do add up. I looked at my fees the other day and I've paid close to over one BNB in mining fees. And that does add up, you know, because one BNB is about $475. So I've paid a good amount. And so I'm going to see how this goes. Like I said, I'm going to do this every single day. So every single day, I'm going to add $10 basically of liquidity into this. And hopefully both of these prices on these tokens rise over time throughout this 100-day challenge. And the liquidity that I'll be earning off of after the 100-day challenge will be hopefully, you know, two or three times this amount. And then maybe at that point, I'll decide to pull some profits off, put some into the KuSwap pools. We'll see. We'll see. But this is a 100-day challenge. It really started yesterday, really started on Monday. So we're going to mark this date right here. This is August 24th. And so 100 days from now, we will check the status. This is what I'll be doing basically every day, just compounding in this because Guys, I do think there's a great potential for not only the KuCoin token to grow, but the KuSwap token. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. Okay, you can see this is the KuCoin token chart. Okay, this is dating back to around 2017, 2018. And we'll look at the BNB chart, guys. Pretty similar if you look at the two. Okay, we have a big rise up, you know, some volatility, basically a double bottom, a pump some consolidation, and then another pump. So you can see this is basically COVID right here, and then just slowly steady upwards until about the beginning of 2021 is where really the DeFi craze took off with Binance Smart Chain. And you can see how it took it from about $35 to $40 and hit upwards as high as $570, $600. And we are continuing to go up. So KuCoin is in the very similar position. You have the big run up, you have the double bottom there, you have the consolidation and the pump, okay? So very early, very early in the KuCoin price discovery here, as we can see how high this thing can go. All right, the total supply is very similar to Binance. It's around the same amount, all right? The market cap is way less, looking at 1 billion market cap to 73 billion. So is there room for growth? Can KuCoin, you know, pick off some of the popularity from Binance and maybe get this market cap three to five times where it's at now, maybe 10 times? That would be pretty good. You know, maybe a $100 KuCoin token could be in the future. We will see. Maybe, you know, maybe just a $50. I'll take that. All right. And we look at the KuSwap token price. You know, this one had a big run up to start, a lot of hype, and then it consolidated but we have 
you know, kind of found some support here and kind of hovering on this support line at about $4.50, $4.60. So it's looking good. It's looking good for that. And I'm hoping as this thing grows, you know, more popularity that more people jump in and really helps this liquidity and the fees pick up in here. And we'll see what happens, guys. You know, this is all a risk. Everything in crypto is a risk. You have to judge accordingly and only risk, you know, what you feel comfortable with risking because you never know what could happen. You could lose everything and you have to be prepared for that. You don't want that to happen, but you do have to be prepared. And the good thing about this decentralized liquidity farming and things is most likely unless you get into a really, really scammy farm where they rug on everybody, you're most likely not going to lose everything. You may lose, you know, 50%, 60%, you know, if it goes really south. But the good thing is you always have access to your funds. It's on the blockchain. It's on smart contracts. This isn't like those centralized platforms. But in a way, you're earning like it is. Because what did everybody want to do back in the day, back in 2017? BitConnect. That was the big thing. Get your trading bot on BitConnect. Earn yourself 1% a day, you know, 30% a month. You know, 360% a year. Well, guess what? You can do that right here. This is your BitConnect trading bot. Okay, so think of it like that. You're putting money in here. You don't have to do any trading. And you're making passive income from this. And at any time, you can take your investment into this and take it out. And you're not locked in for any terms. And you have the true freedom to do whatever you want. All right. Of course, you do have to be aware of possible hacks, possible rug pulls things like that, you know, you hope that it doesn't happen to the project you're in and you hopefully you do enough research to where you feel comfortable with enough audits and enough protections in place that that won't happen. And I think I feel comfortable enough with KuSwap and the KuCoin smart chain to take that risk. And so we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see how high this liquidity can grow and see how much passive income we can make. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys are following along for the journey and trying some of this out for yourself. Or you could just watch me do it and watch the updates and see how that's going so far. I know I haven't made that many videos on the channel lately. Been really busy with work and stuff. I mentioned that in my previous video. And but really the great thing about crypto is you don't have to be that active and you can just buy and hold. And if you look at the HODL portfolio that I showed you guys early on back in June, some of those coins have already 10 x For example, Constellation with the symbol DAG that I showed you guys, that was in that video, that's already 10 x We had another one, Request Network, that's up 4X. IOTX has doubled, and a lot of coins continue to rise. So that's what I do. I have my huddle bag for the year, and then I'm gonna have a 100-day challenge for this yield farming here, and just try to find some other gems along the way. And I have the Creative Crypto Signal Group that I run and share some signals. That's been doing pretty well. And so just try to make money in any way that I can, guys, in the spare time, of course, because I do still work a job to make money so I don't have to spend crypto to pay my bills. I'd rather just trade some time for money and earn some fiat to pay my bills and just have my crypto being held and trying to compound and stake and earn more. So I hope you guys enjoy these strategy videos. Let me know down below in the comments if you like these strategy videos. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more if you want to see more of these videos moving forward. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next time, we will talk again. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.